Hello to everyone. So you might thinking what kind of air conditioning you would like to install. I would like to present to you seven steps to help you to decide regarding air conditioning installation. Now, first you need to decide about the right type of uh, the system you want to use. There are three main systems you may use. First is central air conditioning unit. There is ductless uh, mini split and there is a window mounted air conditioning. The most popular in UK is uh, ductless mini split. Of course, some uh, uh, big shops or some other, other places where there's more space, they will uh, opt for central air conditioning. But it's up to you, it's good for you to know and be informed. It depends on many factors. Well, these ones will help you to decide of what kind of air conditioning you will install in your property. So the second thing you need to take in consideration when you are thinking of installing air conditioning is to assess the cooling capacity needed. And that is measured in BTU, British Thermal Units. So British Thermal Units take in calculation the size of the room, uh, how many windows, how many lights, and how many people will be in that room. And there's some other little details, but this is the main thing to decide about the BTU and a good functionality of air conditioning unit in your property. And after when you have a calculation of BTU, the installer can calculate uh, the kilowatt uh, needed uh, of air conditioning, because air conditioning come in kilowatt measure. If you don't know how to do that, contact the HVAC installer and they will be able to help you to decide and to calculate all of this. The third step you need to take in consideration when you are choosing air conditioning is energy efficiency. Energy efficiency is measured by SEER. It's a seasonal energy efficiency ratio and that will help you to have the best of your air conditioning in a, in a means of air uh, energy efficiency. So when you look on a unit, most of the companies will measure the energy efficiency, SEER, in single A, double A, or triple A. So that will help you to understand what kind of energy efficiency unit you decide. If you don't know, again, contact the HVAC in store. They will be able to help you to decide on the right product. Better energy efficiency, it tends to have even lower noise on a unit because if you install outdoor unit close to your neighbors, you don't want for your neighbors to suffer of the noise. So that needs to be taken in consideration too when you are choosing energy efficiency, also to think about the level of the noise. Here, for instance, the unit will be above the bed. Bed is here. And why it's above the bed? Because when air blows overnight, it blows over the bed and it will not affect those who are sleeping. That's why it's, that's the one of the best places. But if it's not possible, of course, you need to take in consideration other practical means of where that needs to be installed. Also, need to take in consideration any drafts might be there. If you install it in a landing, on a landing, you need to understand that the draft usually that might create a capillary attraction and pull the air down uh, be before it cools everything inside and that increases your energy bills. Another thing about the outdoor unit. Outdoor unit, in this case, we install it right almost the back of this place because this is the best place. Uh, uh, presented by the customer. They must be taking consideration how close is to the neighbors, then also if you require any permits uh, to be able to install. There are certain places in London or in other bigger cities, uh, it's very strict. You can't just put the air outdoor unit anywhere it pleases. So permit needs to be checked regarding that. So these things need to be discussed with the HVAC installer. So where the indoor unit goes, where the outdoor unit, and also taking consideration how the piping will look. Will the pipe will be in a trunking? Will the pipe will be just a naked pipe? Because all will affect even the price and quality and look of install.
know when installation, you don't consider just a unit, outdoor unit and indoor unit, that, but also what does it involve? It involves trunking, it involves pipes, it involves insulation, it involves certain type of cable, and it involves isolator, it involves uh, clips, which we have inside of the trunking. So there's many factors to take in consideration. So not always the cheapest option is the best option. So that's the measure you have to decide and investigate and ask HVAC installer, not only to give you the price for a unit, but also to break it down what he's using in order for you to know that you receive a quality materials, not only as a uh, air conditioning unit, but also what is involved in it. point you need to take in consideration before you uh, do the install maintenance and upkeep of air conditioning installation for warranty to be valid for five years or whatever you receive you must do every year maintenance on uh, installation that includes that HVAC installer has to book you for next year to come and clean the filters and maintenance another important thing is if the room is dusty please do not turn your air conditioning on it's better for the air uh, does not to go inside. If did, that needs to be cleaned. So this is the things you need to take in consideration for a good functionality of your air conditioning. So you might have uh, many guys uh, giving you a very good price. Uh, you will think it very competitive, but if they are not registered, the uh, warranty will be void straight away. You must ensure that the installer is FGAS registered and you can ask for proof of his registration. <laughs>